Hey, 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 this your boy Hood, Pastor Full Impact Ministries. What's happening, everybody? Y'all know what it is, the social media ministry that bring gut-wrenching truth about God's true nature towards us. Listen, I want to tell you a story. Tell you a story. The reason why I left the church building, the reason why I left the church building, the reason why I left the church building is because when I began to really search out, seek out God's love towards me, I began to see that mostly everything, if not everything in there, in the building, was total contrary to him. God, dog, I know this is going to make a bunch of y'all mad because you stuck in... In, uh, in the spirit of control and deception and respect the person. But when I began to really seek him out for who he really is, I began to see, wait a minute now, this ain't God. All the stuff that goes on, enter all the stunts, the theatrics and the gimmicks, you know, folks touch you, you're falling out. You know, you spin around three times. You're giving all your money to the church. You know, and you're doing. And I begin to see this is not the God who say he loves me. This is not. There is no way this is him. And I really begin to seek him on a level like never before. Watch this here. When I exit that foolishness, because what I come to understand is most folks in church, in the church buildings, don't know him. It's a front. It's a stunt. It's a gimmick. Because he doesn't function through religious stunts and tactics. He despises that. You remember the scripture that says Jesus wept? What I did uh, a <laughs> I did a message on that. Why did Jesus well? It's on YouTube. Check it out. And when you read that entire chapter, when you read that entire scenario on what happened when he was going to raise his friend Lazarus from the dead, and he began to see these women wailing and weeping. And these women, in those days, women got paid to weep, to cry over dead folks. Folks they don't even know, but they get paid to do that. And the Bible said when Jesus saw this, he wept over that. He groaned in his spirit because of the religious stunts and tactics that was going on. He despises that. Every time Jesus went in the temple... They tried to kill him. See, see, the church building does not want the truth, Jesus, in there. And, and when I began to actually witness who he really is towards me, my God, Jesus. Ooh. <laughs> when I began to experience his real love towards me, I said, man, let me exit this foolishness. Because I want to know you, Jesus. Not this mess that they done conjured up. See, that stuff keeps you in bondage. It keeps you away from him. It keeps you fearful. It keeps you in condemnation. It keeps you in a works mentality. Watch this. And it keeps you broke. And I realized... Two things, two valuable things that I was wasting while in the church building was my time and my money. And I realized that. And I'm like, man, this ain't you, God. And he began to show me through the scripture. No, that ain't me. They done conjured that mess up for their own control. You don't go to services every week to seek God. That's some control that man has over you to tell you when to come here, how long you got to stay here, do this and do that. 
and you go to serve him when scripturally he's supposed to be serving you. The scripture said you, Jesus told his disciples when they asked who is going to be the greatest, Lord. And Jesus said, whichever one of you wish to be the greatest, you will be the servant. That mess, it look, I'm going to say this here. If you want to get to know God's true nature towards you, come up out of them church buildings. Because he's not in there. I'm going to say it. I ain't scared of no, look, I ain't scared of none y'all. <laughs> if you want to get to know God's true nature towards you, if you want to experience real intimacy with God, if you want to experience Jesus' hard posture towards you, if you want to see why Apostle John said that he's the disciple whom Jesus loved, if you want to see why he laid his head on Jesus' chest, if you want to see why when they ran to uh, find Jesus and he outran all of them, if you want to see the truth about who Jesus is towards you, you have to come up out of that building. Because you're not going to get them now. You're going to get man's tactics, man's stunts and gimmicks. And man is going to be controlling you. Man is going to get your money. Man is going to be lying to you. That stuff is not God. It's not. God ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm telling you. That's why I left the church building. Because he ain't in there. You know. And then they. How do you say uh, uh, all, all, all night shut-ins. Man, ain't nobody got time to be staying in no building all night to my all night shut-in trying to seek God on your face. Oh, oh, on your face. And all this old crazy mess. All those goofy stunts. He ain't nowhere. He, he's nowhere in it. He's nowhere in it. And many of y'all are steady doing this stuff, seeking him, and you have got into self-deception now thinking that you got a relationship with Jesus, but you don't. And many of y'all know within your knowing that you don't have a relationship with him. Because if you had a real relationship with Jesus, the Christ, my man, y'all know what I call him, a.k.a. J. Boogie, you wouldn't even be in that building. <laughs> Talk to him, preacher. Tell him the truth, man. Yeah, it hurts. Tell the truth. I'm telling you, you want to get to know God's true nature towards you? Come up out of that building. Come up out of that building. My whole ministry is founded off one scripture. My found, the foundational basis is on, it is standing on one scripture. 1 John 4, 19. We love him. Watch this now. Because he first, yep, I love you, Jesus, loved us. You'll get a real understanding of John 3, 16. Once you begin to know his true nature towards you, it'll blow your mind. The scriptures will open up like never before. It'll blow your mind. You want to get free? <laughs> Come up out of that cage called the church building. Come up out of that brick wall of bondage. Come up out of that erected foolishness. And watch the heavens open up for real for you. With his love on your life. This your boy, your hood, Pastor Full Impact Ministries. Why I left the church building. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm finna say now. I'm finna do it now. And I'm out. Peace.